All right, now that this is uh, back out of the truck, I've got it upside down on the bench and I figured I'd show you some of the construction details. While it was upside down, um, I've really gone through and I've tried to brace out everything inside and out is, uh, in every direction that I can anyways. Um, like with everything else I make, I suppose the disclaimer is off-road use only, but um, I really do feel like it's a pretty strong application. Uh, this is that um, plate and um, there's weld nuts on the inside that the uh, fasteners thread into that give you the adjustment needed for it. Um, you can see the corner is braced. All of these parts that you see that are um, coming in and out of it are actually um, mortise and tenon joinery. So there's actually a tenon that comes through this back plate and is welded through and a tenon that comes across where that is leveled out and is welded through on the back side and ground clean. And then everything is also welded on the inside. All the four exterior corners are stitch welded on the inside and then fully welded on the outside but the majority of the exterior weld is then ground clean but to give you that nice exterior look you can see some of the welds in through there um, any of the major stress points on the inside um, are completely welded um, the hinge is um, fairly heavy gauge steel um, that's welded into this the the top of this is actually welded to the back of the box and then the entire part is welded to the lid itself so it's kind of doubled over um, the barrel uh, depending on where they pivot from um, are each each one of the barrels is welded on so once again you have a, a 3 8 rod that's coming across with those barrels welded either to the lid or to the surface of the box depending on which way it needs to rotate um, once again, corners welded through. Uh, these parts are a little mortise and tenon part as well. They've got to weld across the outside, weld through the inside. Uh, everything is kind of braced up and canceled out as best I could figure out. I'm no engineer, but um, I've broke plenty of things in the past, so I try and put those kind of things uh, into my brain for next time. So that's pretty much what the inside of the box looks like. You can see the DOM tube here that reinforces the structure of the lid. Um, where the 3 8 rod goes through through that 3 16 plate all the way through the tube and then into these braced up uh, vertical parts of the box that are fully welded into the thing and then stitch welded across for the, the, the box brace. Um, I've really tried to cancel out any force that I can imagine being put onto it and with the stitch welds in the event of an accident it'll make sure that there's a, a place for the stresses to go and bubble out in between them it tends to be a really strong on mode of application so that's what we're looking at upside down